The Lions started slow in their semi-final against the defending champions, the Cheetahs, last Saturday. They found themselves chasing the game from 14-0 down and they know it's something they can't afford to repeat in Saturday's final. Especially against the Sharks side that beat them earlier in the season and showed character last weekend in their semi-final match against the Blue Bulls at Loftus Festfeld. They came here during the league, the league games. I think they beat us as well. So uh, we wanted our best then. Uh, credit to them. They were very good that day. Uh, but for us, like I said, this, weekend, this week for us has been purely on ourselves. Uh, prep our staff, we know exactly what to do and uh, fix our game plan. That's the major thing is just to start a lot better than what we did. Uh, we were chasing the game, we were 14 points behind and I think it was the first time this season that we, that, that we found ourselves chasing the game. So for us it's just about starting off strong, starting off quick um, and then again sticking to our structures, sticking to the procedures that we've been going through the whole season. Former Cheetahs fullback Tapua Mafura will be playing in his third consecutive Curry Cup final on Saturday but in his first for the Lions. Being in the Curry Cup final the past two years has helped me so much. I think uh, the composure that comes with uh, having played in it helps a lot and uh, just helping the guys that it's, some of them, it's their first time, so you know they're leaning on my experience. The 28-year-old who has won the competition previously with the Cheetahs and the Pumas says winning the competition would lift their spirits ahead of the United Rugby Championship. The last time we were in a final of the Lions was, I think, 2017, and the last time they won it was 2015. So it's been a while since uh, there was a trophy here, and you know, it would be great to just, before we get into the URC, to get this Curry Cup uh, trophy, and I think you know, it would lift uh, the spirits of not just the players, but the, the fans and everyone around Joburg. Uh, I think everyone can see there's something special that's growing here. Saturday's match at the Ellis Park Stadium will kick off at 4 o'clock and will be televised live on SABC2. Pesinka to SABC News, Johannesburg.